Okay guys, it's almost sunset and uh, the sun is over there, but uh, look at the moon. It is just, it's hard to tell how big it is, but uh, when you look at it, it's like, holy cow. I could imagine if anybody was to see it, uh, when it was probably down at the horizon, it'd be amazing. It'd be one of those things that people like, wow. We also trying to pick out that comet today because it was not supposed to be clear and it turned clear. So in about uh, 20 to 30 minutes, we're gonna go take a look. Okay, so I am releasing this video tomorrow and then tomorrow's video, which was gonna come out uh, tomorrow, is gonna come out ne next week. Anyway, what I do want to explain to new people is, because I even read it on one of the Facebook groups that, you know, they took a picture of the cloud and it's like, is this the comet? So a lot of new people don't know. And then others were like, I can't see it either. So I want to do this video so that way the people who live in and around light pollution, any big cities, most likely are not going to see it, okay? Because it's just too much light pollution and too much moon. So you're not gonna see it visually with your eyes, but probably with binoculars and the telescope. Okay, so <laughs> that, that's a plane over there. That's not the comet. Uh, I guess somebody could probably get confused, but for sure that's a plane. I took my buggy here to the park. It's only half a block away. I got a little chair to sit. I have the Celestron uh, four inch f5 refractor so it's a very wide telescope and uh i'm gonna start setting up if i turn the camera the opposite way that i had it then i can use the flash now i do have it on the az3 which is not the greatest so we're gonna see how today goes and uh if i need to switch it to the other one then I will do it. But I brought vice grips because this nut here, you can kind of uh, tighten it and it works for a couple or a little while if you really crank that nut. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. See, I can't see our Taurus yet. Oh, there we go, I see it now. Arcturus is up there. There's Arcturus right there. I did bring my 56 millimeter Mead Super Palazzo, which gets me about eight power, 8.9 to be exact. And uh, we're gonna just wait a little longer. Hopefully within the next 15 minutes is when I can start to see it. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I found it, uh, 728, only in the telescope so far, and it's roughly about there. Um, I can't see it visually yet, and then the telescope is very dim. It is a little bit high, but I don't see it yet visually or through the camera, only through the telescope on this guy here. Okay, so with a Mead 56 millimeter eyepiece, it's actually, it's dim. Yeah, you can see a little fan shape, but this is reminding me like the uh, comet Neowise, which was to me disappointing because it only can be seen in a telescope. Now I am in a Bortle 8 zone, but this is pretty disappointing, I guess. Yeah, I see it, but it seems almost like Neowise. Um, I don't know if I have to get out of the city to see it visually or if the moon wasn't around, but it is what it is. So today is October 16th and um, yeah. Um, now maybe it, it'll get a little better when it's brighter. Now here's something that's weird that I just noticed. Now this Mead two inch eyepiece is, she is big. I mean, it's not the biggest two inch uh, eyepiece, but it, in this tri adapter, the move, shoot move, it just squeaks by. So. I'm gonna see if I can take a picture or a video through it 
but maybe I might wait another half an hour just to see if later on it gets a little darker and I can see it. Um, but I'm hoping to see if I can see it live because, you know, Neowise wasn't that great to me. Uh, compared, you know, when I saw uh, Comet Hakataki in 96 and Hale Bop in 97, and Neil Wise was okay, but not great. Uh, and this one, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I can see it. And remember, too, with a 56 millimeter eyepiece in this format, with, with a two inch diagonal, I'm getting 8.9 power, which is like binoculars. Um, it's okay, but nothing great, I guess. Also, if this video does work out to where I feel it's worthy to post, then um, today is Wednesday, October 16th. Then normally I put a video on Thursday. Um, I will bump that one to next week and then this one for tomorrow. But it depends on if I feel it's good enough to post for tomorrow. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I do have a word of advice for you guys that are observing from the city. You're gonna, if you're in a Bordo, I would say seven, eight, and nine, you're probably not gonna see it visually unless you let it get later. Right now, it's about 740. So maybe like 745, closer to eight. But again, the moon, one day before the full moon, and as the comet rises, it's actually gonna keep getting dimmer and dimmer but even though it's kind of rising it's going to be in more darker darker skies because it's not in the twilight but you know and this comet's only around for about three more weeks right but this moon is going to be i guess until it gets to the last quarter of the moon it's going to be another week so it's tricky to say uh, but for you guys i would say in the city bring binoculars or a small wide telescope otherwise you're not going to really see it with visually I did bring the wrong tripod. So this tripod kind of sucks. That's why I don't like the AZ3. It just tips too far back, but you could see it on the screen there. Next time I'll bring my the SV Boney 225. Okay guys, so it's uh, basically eight o'clock right now. Comet's still out, but I can't see it even at all. Now maybe some of you guys that are in really dark skies, Bordeaux 1, 2, or 3 or something like that, maybe you can see it with the naked eye. However, I don't. Uh, so for all the people out there that are unfortunate to live in like polluted skies, uh, that's the way it goes, I guess. But uh, I don't see anything, not even like a hint, unless I use the camera function or the telescope but as far as uh, seeing it uh, I don't think so I don't see anything actually guys I think I just can glimpse it but only with averted vision which means it's a trick that we use um, which is not looking directly at it it's looking off to the side just kind of glimpses it so I'm still gonna say in the city right now with the full moon you can't really detect it when i say detected i mean like face on you know but with averted vision i do think i just see a glow and if that's it that's yeah kind of cool but i would need to go to a darker park which doesn't have street lights and i can't do anything about the moon um, so it is what it is